we're looking at managing an event, the first thing you need to consider is the meaning of safety, as all event organisers have a prime responsibility for protecting the health, safety and welfare of everyone. That includes everyone working at the event, attending the event or passing by. The events attract a large number of people. From a commercial viewpoint, that can appear to be a good thing, because the larger the crowds are, the more profit that will be made. However, you do have a duty to look beyond the profit and have to exercise common sense and caution. For example, over the years at some sporting events, surging crowds combined with bad crowd control management can result in people being crushed to death against walls or railings, such as the Hillsborough disaster of 1989. While all your appropriate staff should be trained and aware of procedures that have been set out, it is vital that any situation managers and supervisors must ensure to promote a positive and proactive safety culture for the team. As an events manager, you should also know that through research and planning, you as an events organiser are aware of the size and type of crowd that will be attracted to your event so you will be able to anticipate crowd behaviour. Have already visited and reviewed the site and venue as part of the planning process and have also revisited the site before the event to ensure that no circumstances have been changed. Have understandable limits that can trigger emergency actions for the stewards and management as the risk assessment may state if the back of the queue of your event has reached, say, the main road, for example, then another gate must be opened to relieve pressure and keep members of the public off the main road. When event organisers want to create an event, a risk assessment is a formal review and consideration of potential hazards, as their impact and likelihood together could cause harm, which will affect the health and safety or welfare of people affected by your event. To perform a risk assessment, you should be familiar with all the aspects of the event so that you know the operating environment. With investigation and planning, the whole event risk assessment should be broken down into manageable areas. Attempting to undertake a risk assessment for the whole event will be too complicated. Some people may think why even make a risk assessment as it's time consuming, but there are many reasons why you should perform a risk assessment. These reasons are to reject or ban activities that impose too high of a risk, to help design normal and emergency procedures that will enable your staff working at the time of the event to safely cope with all the possibilities. It is also there to ensure that excessive risk controls are not used. However, to help, the event manager could also assign the risk assessment appropriately to skilled individuals. For example, an engineer might risk assess temporarily seating arrangements, or you might even discuss the potential fire hazards with local fire services. As an events manager, you should also understand control measures, as it is vital for your event because you will need to make sure you have clear control measures in hand to remove or reduce the risk and impact of potential hazards. For example, if the hazards were to be broken glass, the control measure would be to fence off the area so it would prevent anybody from coming into any harm. <laughs>